In a land of cop and a time of cop, the destiny of a great cop rests on the shoulders of a young cop. His name cop. Hi guys and welcome back to Iwako's review. I know it's been long. I missed you. I've not spoken in a while. So if you are new here, please subscribe below. By subscribing, you unlock so many features. Like, just subscribe. So guys, today we are going to be reviewing the only show that we know that we can see guys that run shirtless on Third Mainland Bridge and damsel in distress. Also running on Third Mainland Bridge for four seasons now. Yes, yes, you got it. This is DOC. California, California. <laughs> Rolling through. So where do we start from? Four seasons of this same show, and Indani is still sticking to the skinny part of the name because, as you can see, she went out to jog. No sweat in sight. That only tells us one thing. She has been able to jog to the point that she's unable to sweat again. It happens actually. You can Google it. It's called... Tiwa is back. The same girl we have come to love. And also the villain of the show. And yes, I'm still going to be sticking with that narrative that Tiwa is the villain. She goes jogging. Then a hunk comes to meet her. Like toast her. She denies him and continues jogging. Are you shocked that I did not say anything about this? See, I've read the point that nothing shocks me again. If she can deny that guy, doesn't I don't know what to add after after what I just said there. I'm thinking. Hello. Okay. Hey, you didn't even tell me your name. She goes to her office as usual, and for the 40th time in four seasons, we have a new GM. Please clap. Can I just say, like, nobody's listening to your show, Tiwa. Like, there's there's no need for for you to be changing GMs anyhow, like it's going to change the whole narrative of the story. Oh, a new GM season 3. Oh, um, um, Hadiza is taking over your job. See, nothing changes. Nothing changes. Thank you. In this episode, we are introduced to the new GM, and I don't know her name because she, she never actually told us her name. I know I can actually go to the end credit and find her name, but her name is the new GM. That's your business. If you know her name, then tell me down in the comment section. This is not a style of me making you um, write um, write it down on the comment section, guys. I'm sure you're aware of this news going around about a particular OAP. Being caught in a very compromising situation. The new GM tells Tiwa that an OAP of the company is sleeping with a singer. And this is big news how? Like, this is something that happens in the industry. Have, have you not noticed? Like, <laughs> how do I know you are asking? I'm also an OAP. No idea why I said that. I'm not an OAP. Oh. I'm not an OAPO, na joko, na joko. Moving on. I mean, I wasn't actually wearing my I have a boyfriend t-shirt on. You know that there's no way you can stop guys from hitting on me, right? Not if I can help it. We see her with Mide later on in the episode and Mide is angry because someone tried to toast his babe on the bridge. And I, I don't know why he was jealous. Is it is it okay, okay, okay. Yes, eh? Yes. The guy is macho. Yes, he has like a complete, an actual complete pack or, or packs. Yes, he's buffed. And yes, he's so self-confident about his body that he jokes shirtless. But, but Mide, you cut yourself short. You have something that macho man will never have. Your big ass, bald 
Hey. As you already know, and guess you already know, Hadiza is the girl with the sex tape and is having an affair with a married man slash singer. It's Hadiza. She's having a serious affair with a married musician. Oh, and my be tape. Yeah, but it's a lie. <laughs> you just met him. The leader has been there since independence. Not like my Mohammed. Beautiful. Episode two. And I'm sure that you understand why we're letting her go. So just ensure she understands the terms. Kindly have that done as soon as possible. Thank you. You gotta love me when you want. So Tiwa in this episode is given the command by the new GM to fire Hadiza, but Tiwa feels bad about it. So she decided to give Hadiza heads up. Like, like. Oh, Hadiza, I'm calling to just tell you this will change anything. They will still fire you. But look at it at the bright side. <laughs> I told you beforehand, but they will still fire you. Don't forget. Look at you. You think because you lost some miserable weight, all of a sudden you are better than everyone else. <laughs> Face it, Siwa. You have always been jealous of me. You keep trying, but you will never be good enough. You will never be skinny enough, or talented enough, or beautiful enough. And once Midei sees that, he will dump you so fast. How dare you? Pause first. first you take my man. Yeah, I was trying to take, take the high road. As PD, and now hey. you want to take my job? <laughs> You know what they say, whatever happens in Vegas, stays in Vegas. That had nothing to do with the video. For me, I can't say it too, but, but I would like to ask you guys one question. From listening to the sound effect and looking at the visuals, what do you think is happening here? Comment down below. I'm not going to talk. And if my memory serves me well, the Fabrice will not rest on it until he station is. <laughs> Mide mentioned Fabrice. You remember Fabrice? As Mide and Tiwa were doing their soft, I can't say the word, <laughs> but you know it's soft. <laughs> you remember Fabrice now? Fabrice is spray. The guy that Tiwa had the one night stand with. Wait, too. Oh, 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 oh. That's what I said. Anything that happens in Vegas st stays in Vegas. I know what I was saying, guys. Episode 3, 4, 5 in one review. Before that, let me show you a little clip of Tiwa exercising with some high pumped song to, to make her exercise look, um, what was the word? Um, look, look aggressive. <laughs> Tiwa was walking out on the bridge and Macho Man was talking to Tiwa when Mide comes in with his big head that is disturbing society from Britain. Leave the scene, leave the scene, leave the scene, please. Leave the scene, leave the scene, leave the scene. Much better. Much better, much better. I have to admit, it's kind of sweet watching him. But when does being jealous become borderline obsessive? When does it become unsafe and worrying? Hmm. While Tiwa was doing her segment, a gift came in for her. She reads the card and a phone call comes in and it was Fabrice Display asking if she likes the package. Not his package. Because we know <laughs> she liked it. <laughs> <sighs> please don't unsubscribe. Please don't unsubscribe. Please. Hmm. But from nowhere, as she was trying to unpackage what he what he brought, guess who came inside? I will give you a millionaire. Guess who came inside? You got it. Did he? Let's have She's walking, oh, you jog together, eat together, leave her alone, jeez. Episode 4. Fabrice. <coughs> Are those sausages 
Uh, okay, she's choking on some sausages. That's not like explicit in any way. Immediately noticed that his babe was acting a tad bit weird. And you know what they say about jealous people? You are never too far to snap a picture. <clears throat> Tiwa goes home and Shaliwa is found crying because of what happened with her boyfriend and the wife of the man she used to have an affair with. And as I was watching this, I noticed Idani Idani doesn't have any evil person. No single evil person in the room. So in Danny We've caught in Danny guys. In in Danny Insta blog Niger um um two dead not in Danny doesn't want to work with any evil person. Nobody cares. I know I'm uh, talking to a room that is echoing. Only me here. Nobody cares. All right, let's continue. Tiwa goes to meet Mide again. Can this relationship just end at this point? Because like from God, end, please, end, end. She sees her sister, and from the first glance. From the first glance, we already know one thing about this girl. Not the fact that she doesn't like Tiwa, nobody cares. She, she's fine. She's, she's very fine. And yes, she doesn't like Tiwa. Um, I need to put that one there because some people actually watch my reviews for reviews. <laughs> Sorry to everybody that was expecting me to give you guys the full review. Um, when I was recording the audio, the thing showed 40 minutes. And to cut 40 minutes is going to take a long time. And I needed to drop a video this week. You know, Salah just passed. Um, next, the second part of this, um, the second part of the video is going to be coming out next week. So expect it by God's grace. And without wasting your time too much, watch all my videos first. Then, then. We'll catch ourselves on the next one.